Guys, Palm with Pro Box Respect, TKO. I'm here with boxer Charlie Edwards, former British Super Flyweight Champion and World Title Challenger. Charlie, how you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thanks. Fresh from your uh, victory. Uh, how are you feeling, first of all? Yeah, I'm feeling good. It's not the opponent that I wanted or the opponent that we planned, but it was a last minute thing. Last night at half nine, I wasn't even fighting. I sold 200 tickets, so we had to get someone in. And yeah. I just have to say sorry to everyone. They, they weren't up to scratch to who they were like to see me fight, it wasn't a very competitive fight, I just eased through it and boxed comfortably and then just made sure I didn't get no injuries, no cuts or nothing because uh, we want to be out again in December on one of the big shows. Charlie, so this is your uh, second outing under Adam, uh, terrific movement again, you hit him with everything, he was a proper tough durable fighter though wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's a tough durable fighter, he's been in there, been on all rounds with loads of people up to uh, several weeks, six several weeks, so he is, he's a good fighter, a uh, tough fighter, sorry, and, uh, but he's what you get, someone who just, just tries to have a go and tries to spoil you and uh, make you look bad, but I just had to stick to the game plan and just uh, box to orders and uh, practice things I've been working on in the gym, I just went back every round, listened to Adam and went out there and, and uh, put it into practice, even things that, you know, Sitting next to his stable mate, Lucien, and he was telling me, I think he's that your opponent was ex MMA or something as well. Yeah, he's an ex MMA fighter, he's not supposed to be playing the MMA game, so he's tough as they come, but it is what it is, it's not him, I'm not it, but I'm disappointed to be honest. But I've got to just take it as a pinch, pinch of salt, I'm back, on, back in the gym tomorrow, back running tomorrow, and push it on the next fight. Well, to be honest, mate, he was never going to knock you out today. You look fantastic. You shouldn't be disappointed at all, mate. Last minute opponent as well. Um, can you talk a little bit about that, mate? Because originally, when we spoke at an MTK event, you were thinking about uh, he was going to defend against Matthew Chanda at the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, defend against Matthew Chanda. But when we thought about it, realistically, I wasn't going to win the British outright. Three fights, it would have kept me at a level and just plateaued at a level. I'm looking to push on, I'm looking to fight likes of carry the fight, you know what I mean? The pre period showdown, hopefully gets through it in two weeks time and we'll see where we're at then. But that's that's the plan, do you know what I mean? And sitting around at uh, British level ain't gonna make me progress as a fighter. I know the opponent tonight was the best, but it wasn't the opponent we were supposed to have but it is what it is. Charlie, you fought for the world title obviously very early on. How do you keep going like that, mate? Because you know that's, you hit a career high very early on, didn't you? Boxing's through my, my blood. I've done it since I was a kid. Yeah, I love it, and um, it's all I've got. Do you know what I mean? I give my life to it, and I want to be a world champion. So that is the drive I have. And I don't really want to be a world champion one way. I want to be through the weights so as I'm mature. Do you know what I mean? So it's, a, it's just about learning week by week. I love being in the gym with Adam because it is a learning progress every time I'm in there. So I just keep going the there, pushing on, pushing on, and. I'm getting better, you can see that in my performances and see the way I'm boxing, so it's, it's, I'm in a very good place at the moment, I've got a great team around me and I've got nothing on that. Just going to say, you, you've got creme de la creme of stable mates, haven't you, for, for sparring, That's Lucien, Josh, world champion. Ryan. So that, that he only brings me on and uh, I can't thank him. I'm so grateful to be amongst the, the boys I'm amongst and I'm grateful to have the people around me I have. Charlie, you mentioned about sticking to the game plan. Um, what was the game plan, and what did uh, what was Adam saying to you in the corner, mate? I was um, just sticking, sticking, like being clever, not not getting caught in a uh, little slug first, making this, making them work. Yeah. Threatening him, going low, lower, not so high all the time, using my legs more, and um, being a bit more spiteful, moving in, moving out, like a bit more aggressively short style. So it was it was all just a work in progress, but there's loads of work done, and it's too much to go into, and I won't want to tell it. Is there any particular things you've been working on in the gym in particular? I don't want to talk about it. No? Okay. No, that's fair enough. Uh, Ron, you sure? Alright. <laughs> Charlie, um, what's a uh, good victory like I said? What's next for you? We'll see. I don't know. Yeah? Uh, okay. I need my journey in, in the past of my management. Uh, Final question, will you be out in Ireland? Uh, next week? No. Oh, I'll be out for Ryan's fight, fight yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Well, go and out. cheer him on, mate. No, yeah, I'm <laughs> going. I've booked on the plane, I'm going to cheer him on, yeah. Alright, listen, mate, you, you've got Thank nothing you. to apologise for, right? That was a great performance. I enjoyed it, Lucian enjoyed it, so uh, all the best, and we'll catch up soon. Take care, bro.